Jay at Memorial High School and we're doing small engines and today we're doing a compression test. So what is that? All right, well, engines have uh, a certain amount of compression, otherwise they won't run. And the way to test it is to put a hose onto the spark plug hole with a, with a pressure meter. And this is what you get. Uh, camera should focus in a second and basically um, you want to be able to see about 60 to 90 psi for an engine like this otherwise it probably won't ignite the fumes that go into the engine through the carburetor so my student here is going to pull the uh, I'm going to put my foot on it and my student here is going to pull go ahead Give it a good pull. We're almost up at 60. Almost there. Wow, almost up at 90. Okay, I feel like you could pull it harder than that. Oh, put your foot on it. There you go. Oh, wow. There you go. We're up all, all past 90. Okay, I think we got it. Now, wait. Now, watch. See, it's going down. There's a leak somewhere if it's going down that fast. And we can actually find out what the problem is. But at least you have compression, which is really good. And you can release that. Okay. All right, I'm Mr. G, and that's your uh, compression test reading. Uh, basically, the, just to show you where this screws into, you basically, you just take out the spark plug and then you would just screw this right into there. Now that wasn't very tight, so that's probably where the leak was coming from, uh, if I were to guess, okay? And this goes right in like this. It looks like a spark plug. Now you make sure you don't use um, a thread that's too long, because you can actually crash this into the valves. If you look inside there, you'll see that the piston below there is actually moving. I don't know if you could see that. Kind of hard to focus. Oh, there 